Hey everybody, this is Big T Plays with another game off Newgrounds. This time it's going to be Poseidon Shoot. Now, the only thing that I do know about this game is that it's from mathnook.com, a supposedly educational website. It looked very educational to me. Let's see, though, if the game can hold its merit on its own. And Wow, that's loud. Um, hold on. I mean, it actually has good sound effects. It's just I was a little bit caught off guard for that, so, uh, yeah. There's a little bit of the website again. And the story is an oil spill polluted the seas, mutated some of the marine organisms such that they became very dangerous. Okay, so, I mean, it's an educational game, but it's taking something very simple, and Poseidon needs to eliminate the dangerous mutants. I don't know what to say to that. So Poseidon just became Magneto? Anyway, help him restore the ocean back to its peaceful nature. Once again, this is just jumping in for me, so off we go. Instructions. Yeah, got it. I don't need instructions. So, I'm actually kind of surprised so far because the big problem that I've seen with a lot of the so-called edutainment games is... It's actually very dry story-wise, and it, you know, this isn't going to be a, you know, best-selling story, but it's enough to have some fun. It's definitely, you know, for younger kids, and, I mean, it's actually a little bit fun to play with. I am horrible at these games, by the way, if you couldn't tell. So, if you are one of these Japanese shoot 'em up legends, and you say, oh, that guy can't shoot for crap, no, no, I can't. So, uh, I was actually kind of lucky. I found out just by clicking the button. Ooh, power up. I actually will be able to shoot waves instead of my regular tridents. Turtle. So, I mean, you know, for an educational game, this is actually really well polished. I had to use one of my bombs there, but. I mean, I'm I'm enjoying this. I'm <laughs> normally. This is not a genre of game I normally play. I think that's another power up for me. Oh boy. But even so, I mean, I, this is actually quite fun. So I'm only going to play until my first death, which is either probably going to be at the end of the first level or the second. I make no qualms about it. So this is just going to be a session to show off what this game really has in store. Now, the music wise is actually very lively. So just be aware that it could come over a little bit loud. So if you're having your kid play it, turn down the headphones a little bit. Other than that, I mean, it's actually quite fun. And I'm guessing this is the first boss. Yes, that is the first boss. And I am now being hit with B-combs. All the beehives. But I mean, even with shooting patterns like this I think they really did well on at least this is the, I'm guessing the end of the first level this is a fun game to pick up for a couple minutes and really kind of if you are better at shooters than I am I could definitely see someone who enjoys this genre having a lot of fun with it so by all means yep, I think I made him angry yep he's pissed at me now I have calamari throwing all sorts of stuff at me just see if I can move and stick and move. Stick and move. Come on, Sugar Ray Leonard. Thanks, Sugar Ray. Now, other than that, I mean, I'm having a good old time doing this. I actually haven't gotten hit yet, so I'm wondering what's going to happen in the second level. I would love to see, you know, a new trick or something, or. Yeah, a little unclear. Sweet. Yeah, and I'm also cheating by just holding the waves down. I know it. Like I said, I suck at these games, but it's not the point for me to suck. It's the point to show what these guys have made. And you can see this on Newgrounds. I actually have a little cheat sheet of all the information. Author Jorn Triple Eight, so Jorn Eight Eight Eight, actually put this up on Newgrounds and definitely give him a uh, note of achievement on this. It's a fun game. I mean, I prefer a little bit more serious fare, but I would, if I had children, 
I would actually let my niece play this, and she's, you know, just, I think she just got past her second birthday. Not that she can handle a game like this, but I would definitely let her play it. So it's definitely family friendly. I mean, if you really have no problem of Poseidon shooting waves at one eyed crabs, and I mean, I'm sure there's a dirty joke you can put in there, but let's just bypass that for now. I mean, that really, for everything so far, this that's everything there is to say. It's just a good, polished, nice game for kids, using my bombs again. I love how the bomb's a hammer, too. I mean, just a little angry part of me. It just has that little squeak of joy when you see a hammer and destroy all the things on the screen. Let's see, so that's the trident. That's the other attack, if you don't click. So, and... So far, I've actually been able to hold my own. I like how the turtles are kind of firing off more. Maybe they were going to do that in the first stage, and I just got them too quick. Because I think they were actually in there, so. And, yep, it's grabby. So, overall, I mean, if I could give this a rating, I, you know, I don't know what kind of scale I would give it, but overall, this is a good game it you'll definitely not this isn't something that changes the rules of the genre but it's definitely one that is following the rules and this squid is gonna punch me in the face <laughs> yep <laughs> gonna punch me in the face gonna use a bomb and i'm gonna die here but overall this is a very fun game and if you have a moment and you don't mind the cartoony artifacts or you even like them you know a good amount of people that prefer this style give it a play i mean you can't do much worse than me <laughs> so that will be poseidon shoot thank you for watching the video and i'll have another one up soon bye